All right, guys, what's up? I'm able to sit a little bit um, longer now, so I'm up to like about 20 minutes a day. So I, I got a long way to go, but I'm just trying to stay positive. I, I don't want any more surgeries. I've had a lot of surgeries in the past. Um, I was able to look at some of the comments and approve some of them. Uh, I actually bought this a while back, and I, I'm pretty sure I actually remember that someone <laughs> asked if I was going to review, and I was like, hey, I'm feeling well positive. Uh, my PT guy told me, hey, just, you know, he's trying to get me to sit 20 minutes a day. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm scared to sit. So um, we're going to use this, my 20 minutes, to, uh, to do a video, and, you know, that way I'm happy. You guys get to see something, too. Um, I was actually curious about this because I don't think no one's really done like actually uh, magazines with um, trademarks on them. So this is going to be a first, really. Uh, other than that, other than that, it was custom. I've done it in the past, but um, you know, it was just it was custom. It wasn't like you could buy it mass marketed. Now I, I know people were. So I, where was it? It was a comment on my YouTube or face. The problem is people talk to me on three platforms, so it's, it gets blended in. But someone was saying this to line us in the market, but guys, you, you get... I'm pretty sure they're just saying the shell, which this is... Sure, 88 is, is light, but don't forget about the black talon, which is, I know for a fact, is the lightest. All right, but the problem is, what's the point of talking about something that no one can obtain? So, you know, that's... Uh, it just makes me wonder why I even talk about it, but at the same time, I'll see, you know, people making comments, and, you know, it's not technically true. And then don't forget about Nine Ball. Nine Ball is also very light. But this is, this is, a, you know, Garter is, I'll give it to them. But yeah, I love their loading nozzles, but some of their stuff I don't like, but, you know, what I'm starting to see um, people want me to, uh, you know, to give them another chance to to re-review them and I got zero problems with that guys I honestly I got no problems checking that out but I gotta be up front with you guys um, money's been tight man Ugh. this is lasered I, I guess you know I can't complain for that price yeah but anyways I know someone I saw the Glock frame which I'm very curious about because they they changed the design People have been asking like to do an update on their high capital slides. I know it's that the their old video I have is God that's ancient. So yeah, I, I understand where you guys are coming from, but at the same time, money's tight, man. So I don't know what's gonna happen. I was hoping the uh, uh what's it called? I forgot what I was just gonna say. <laughs> Let's just continue on. <laughs> is it uh So this is the, I picked up the stereo signal one, because I'm a, you guys know me, I'm a sucker for Infinity. If you have to ask me, uh, choose between STI and Infinity, I'll always choose Infinity. I've been an Infinity boy since they came out with high level stuff. Alright, let's see if this is actually, alright, it is, it is what they say. 88, and it's Maruri high Kappa 5.1 aluminum magazine case. Uh, this is, I feel like this is definitely, um, God, I'm just blinking out today. Let's just, let's just, let me just shut up and let's just see if it, if it drops in, alright? I have a TM, this is the new gen for you, uh, the newer guys. Anyone that's just starting now, or you'd have to have to, like, be playing Airsoft for, for ever to have the original version. But anyways, the new gen guys will have this section. If you do not have this section, that means you have the, like the old school TMX. So, new one, but I'm assuming it's gonna be, you know, new, new, we'll see. And you know, Garter is notoriously known for things not being, okay, we got um gas in here, let me empty it. Uh, nothing in here. And we are out. Let me put that back in. If 
by the way, I'll be doing an update on Dragon. I, I found this this uh, stippling iron, and I, I've been trying to. It's it's going to be hard, but I'll do an update video on that in the future. All right. I know someone's going to ask in the video why is this shooting full auto, guys? That's my that's my full auto uh, blowback unit. I'll probably have to do. I'm going to be doing an update video on that as well. Cause I've decided maybe when my back gets better, I'm going to. I thought about like. Why don't I just make a bunch of pre-built for all the high capitals? Like no one else can really do that. The only way you could do that is, is um, you're gonna have the team extreme. And then you gotta put it in, but the team extreme stock blowback unit sucks compared to mine. <laughs> I was like, hey man, make full auto pre-builds. That's what I should be doing. All right, we need the valve out. Let's get this guy out. And next up, you're going to want to take the top off. You guys will need this tool. Um, technically speaking, you don't. If you're if you're handy and you got a lot of um, flat tips, what you can do is, and if you're skilled, just cut out the middle section. And just all you have to do is just, obviously, it has to be wider. You know, it has to be it's just as wide as this to use it to open it. So don't, if you don't have the tool, but you got a lot of, uh, extra screwdrivers or whatever and you, you got the skills to cut it go ahead and cut one all right come on out buddy we're trying to see if this there we go all right are the o-rings good yes i'm gonna we're gonna lube it before we put it in here next up we need to get this little pin out and forget which one is it left or right? Let's just see. Uh, that was uh, looks like it's gonna be that way. All right. So I, I'm hitting mine. Uh, whatever you guys can see from here, it's facing down. But I don't know if I've changed it. You know, that's <laughs> I I play around with my stuff so much now that everything's just starting to blend but my knowledge will always be there that's for sure you can't take that out with me here is stock tm it's it's a big difference when you're holding this in your hand <laughs> it's like a rock Woo! 220 versus 88 all right and how much was this uh 135 hk um is that is that there's 20 bucks oh, it's around there I have to get I have to get the currency convert I don't know what we're at right now it's for for American USD to HK but it'll be different from wherever you guys are I know everyone everyone from everywhere watches all right now let's see if it's a drop in. that's you know that's the real test uh, let's just get some lube in here you guys don't want to don't put it in dry Make sure it's you know lubed and you don't you know don't force it. Make sure you're very nice to it when you're putting it in. Okay, <laughs> you don't want to pinch any of these. If you pinch it and you force it, you could you know you could rip your O-ring, and you don't want to do that. It's, ripping these O-rings is a pain in the ass. All right, let's try stock TM valve first. As for people, I know people are going to ask, like, what are these magazines good for? Obviously, first, I don't know if this one works, but in general, guys, lightweight magazines, I will always say, for me personally, they're going to be for speed players. All right, that, that is the only person I think speed mags are really essential for. And I'm talking about the pistol nuts. Okay, if you're a pistol nut, you're, you're most likely you'll be watching this. I think having the light set up, you know, gear, magazines is super important. That's just my personal opinion on it. I, I think having heavy mags is excellent for competition IPSC. Because you want those mags to drop fast. It's the same thing in real steel. That's why they have those big ass, you know, base plates. They want heavy, and boom, just to drop fast, get out of the way. You don't want, you don't want lightweight for competition, that's for sure. But, you know, there's some people can, you know, can totally defy that. You know, I know... I have a couple of friends who use uh, Pro-Ins, and those are very light. 
it's just everyone's gonna dip by saying in general. Most people will be running the TMX because they, they they are the heaviest. Alright, so far we have the TM one in here. Let's get this is it lined up. Make sure it's lined up and it looks lined up. Okay, we're lined up. It's just this one's gonna be a little tough. Okay. Make sure it's it's not all the way in. So I'm gonna let's hit a little more, but I don't want to dink the magazine. Oh, I hit it all the way through. So that's my fault. Okay, good. We're in here, but let's see. I want I want to make sure that comes out. I mean, I mean, I don't want. I want to make sure that doesn't come out. All right. I'm a little tired, guys. All right. Let's get this in. So far, we're doing okay. I will need to figure out what we need to do. Um, if I need to do like a Patreon or whatever, I need to fix, figure out something for. I, I know everyone is, you know, I, I agree with you guys that we should, I should reevaluate uh, Goddard slides for a Glock, High Kappa. Their frames I've always liked before uh, when Gun Modify came out with their frame finally. Then I like, you know, okay, I, I, I switched over to Guns Modify. But I still have nothing against the gun, uh, the Glock, uh, Goddard frame because at the time they were the only ones making reinforced ones. So there are certain things I will buy from Goddard, like the same thing with ACM companies, guys, 5KU, you know, all that kind of companies. There are certain things I will buy because no one else makes, or hey, they actually make something good. Okay, right now I'm not, my grip, oh, yeah, I was trying to tell you guys, I am not gripping anything. Alright, so let's put that. We're gonna just try to push this in and then I think we got it here. Nope. Nope, okay. Nope. Did not come with a longer screw or anything, so I'm just not. Oh yeah, my brother's calling. Uh, give me a second, guys. Hey, can I call you back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll call you back. I'm making a video right now. All right, no worries. All right. We just gotta, let's just do, do we have a light? Actually, yeah, let's, uh, let's see if there's a, um, if there's a, what'd you call it? Uh, something to catch on to. Oh, okay. You guys, I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, you might, there you go. You guys see it now? That's what we need. <laughs> I just I have to line up the screw to get that to catch. All right, that's what we're missing. So I'm gonna angle the screw towards the end. So I'm gonna push the screw down. I'm pushing the screw this way because. that work I don't think it did jeez let's just, okay, let's just actually make sure this actually okay 
Let me make sure I'm not stupid here. Alright. Oh god, this is what, 15 minutes? I'm coming up on my 20 minutes. So far my back is... Alright, but... If I feel any pain, I'm, I'm unfortunately going to have to stop and walk around and then we're going to have to edit. And you guys know me, I hate edits because it's, you know, it doesn't show. But, you know, usually I'll talk about it. There's a reason why. Is this, is this one too short? I can just feel it spinning. I wonder if this gap, because when I'm pushing in here, you guys see, it, it's not lining up. If it's maybe just that gap, but that's really, no, yeah, that's the O-ring. You guys can see how I can, I mean, I hate how the color goes from here to here, but in, in general, the, the base plate is going to be covering it, so I guess in the end, that's fine. Let's see if I have to hold it tight. Nope. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Good Lord. Is this too short? <sighs> you guys saw me eyes. I just I'm just unlucky right now. God, I think we're actually going to have to do an edit, guys. This is what Dick was making you sit here watching me trying to get this shit in. <laughs> oh, wait, did I finally get it? <laughs> I think I finally got it, guys. Uh, so ignore that. That's just me being an idiot. Wow. Okay. I don't want to twist it. Yeah, that's it for me. I'm not pushing it anymore. Well, that was uh, incredibly embarrassing. <laughs> oh, what? Okay, let's just get the... The base pad in here so watch out that does come out okay we're using the stock TM okay no problem all right let's do a win Garter with TM internals. 180. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. It feels good too. Looks cool. Let's actually see if it works. Hard of hearing, guys. So I don't even know if it, if it leaks, but let's get some BB in here. A 
we don't want to shoot full auto because we want to see if it, uh, you know, if it actually sh um, shoots the BBs. All right, we got a little mess over here. These were all before I got injured. Okay, let's. Uh, is this guy semi? I have no clue what I was working on at the time. Okay, let's hope this guy's semi. Okay. Okay, one. Oh, can you guys see that? Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oh, hey, um, that that cut's gonna come very soon. Uh, let me just push pause and start. Cause it's at 21 minutes. Oh boy, this is the most I've been. All right, and we're back. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, and let's do a double tap. You guys ready for a double tap? Another double tap. We still okay. We're doing fine. Let's do double, uh, double, double tap. And we're out. Oh, this sucker is cold right now. And uh, I'm pretty sure this one is. Okay, yeah, this one's short, short, so don't worry about that. Oh, okay, this is my 3D blowback unit. All right. Well, guys. It's a drop in for me at least uh, besides me fumbling around for like six seven eight minutes wasting your time sorry about that guys but you know at least you guys got to see it on the camera just you're gonna notice when I when I finally caught it the screw was sticking up a little bit so just look for that moment as soon as you you try to push it down it won't go down in the hole that means you lined up correctly I just was unlucky um, other than that, very cold, lightweight. This is lasered. Okay, there's no depth to it. You you know, if you if you got you know your high cap and, it, and it's tight on the back, and you get wear marks on here, this will come off. I can guarantee that. You know, obviously would play a wear and tear. There's still gas in here, but it is it's cold, but it's a little chilly in there. Excuse me, it's a little chilly in here. We can just drive by the rest of it. Yeah, what is that much left? Okay. And that was the aluminum magazine case. Brand new. I want to say what? What is this? Two, three months old, guys? Not this, not that old. I'm looking maybe maybe four months maybe four months I've been injured for about a month and a half now uh, nice job it's something that's readily I, I would say I give them props because this is readily available to everybody trying to find black talent impossible trying to get nine ball a little bit harder Laylax nine ball harder and they do cost more money and you guys saw this you know I took a stock TM mag and poured it over no problems minus me fumbling around and you know, I, I don't know about leakage, but if there's leaking, guys, obviously just, you know, lube it, Teflon tape, you know, do all the, the, the basic stuff. Check your O-ring, make sure it's not cracked or anything, or very dry. If it's dry or crackly, maybe you need to replace it. But, uh, all right, that's it, guys. I feel my back coming on. Um, good to see you guys. Thanks. I, I managed to see some of the comments. I appreciate the help, guys. Um, you know, the words, very nice. And uh, we'll see what we will do about the new garter stuff. That one I will need assistance with you guys because, uh, you know, not, I'm not going to bullshit. Uh, money's definitely a little bit tighter now uh, with all the medical expenses. All right. Take it easy, guys.